Our region's drought has caused one maybe good thing. <laughs> New dinosaur tracks were discovered in Glen Rose. It's pretty cool. The footprints date back 113 million years. Our Caroline Vandergriff hiked right into Dinosaur Valley State Park to show us what they look like. The name of Dinosaur Valley State Park tells you exactly what this place is all about. So we know for sure that there's tracks here. That's not a surprise. But Mother Nature still has a few tricks up her sleeve. The river was bone dry uh, for the first time in many years. The severe drought revealed these new tracks 113 million years after dinosaurs roamed this area. Um, it was not rolling prairies and trees and it was, it was a seashore. Uh, 113 million years ago. Most of the tracks that folks are, you know, really excited about right now are from a dinosaur called Acrocanthosaurus. It's kind of a mouthful, um, but it means high-spined lizard. A pretty long step, and then a shorter step right to left. Imagine a T-Rex-looking creature weighing seven or eight tons, bringing one of its two feet down right here. The riverbed is so dry, it's easy to spot these tracks. And you can tell they keep going right into the water. So the park is trying to pump that water out to expose even more of these. There's a chance we could get the whole thing cleaned off, this long trail. And it's special for several reasons. It, it's perhaps the longest existing dinosaur trail in North America. Volunteers have to work quickly okay. because these tracks will eventually be buried again by the river when it rains. Where else, you know, where else are you gonna, when else are we going to see dinosaur footprints? So visitors are heading here from all over to take in the once in a lifetime view. And it was worth it. And to walk where dinosaurs walked first. In Glen Rose, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News. You know,